My name is Erani Abu Zaid. I'm an independent journalist based in Beirut, Lebanon. I've covered the Middle East and Pakistan for well over a decade. For the past four years, I've focused on Syria. And I am here to write a book based on my four years of reporting the Syrian uprising. It, it's physically gorgeous, first of all. It's a beautiful spot to be. Um, for me, it provides me with the quiet and the physical distance from the, the many distractions that um, have kept me from writing this book. So I'm very grateful to be here. If I didn't have this uh, residency at the Carey Fellowship, I am certain that my book project would be delayed. Um, this residency has afforded me the time and the space and the uh, opportunity to focus on nothing except the project. And that is a real luxury uh, for me to be able to do that. And I'm certain that um, I would not have been able to, to, uh, to do as much work as I have been able to do in these past few months if it weren't for this residency. It's about the focus. It's about having uh, the ability to, to do nothing except your project, which is uh, you know, a big thing for me because I'm often, I, I live in the Middle East, there are many things going on at the moment and I often feel the, the, um, the urge to jump into other stories and cover them. So being here at the Cary Institute has um, just helped me to focus on the task at hand, which is this book project. No, absolutely. I mean, you know, this is um, this is a great opportunity, and there aren't too many places that I know of that focus solely on nonfiction, on long-form nonfiction. So um, I'm very grateful. I'm very lucky to be uh, here at the Cary Institute because it's uh, you know these people are serious about nonfiction. They want you to write. They will give you um, everything that you need. To, to achieve that goal. They will house you, they will feed you, they will offer you support and mentorship, and all they ask is that you write. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's quite a luxury, um, especially in our current uh, business environment where, where, you know, so many people are struggling to sort of complete their long-form projects and then to find um, venues that will uh, accept their work.